So in this lesson we are going to talk about gauge panels. Here you can see on the screen I have already created a gauge panel. Now gauge panel is quite useful when you want to show values within some range. For example we have riders who are riding motorbike at the speed of let's say from 0 to 120 km per hour. So in that case we can show the information of all of those riders and their current speed. You can also use gauge panel to let's say show temperatures for all the different countries and based on the temperature you may want to categorize them between the whether it's cold, hot or extremely hot. So, so basically anything which has to do with range you can use gauge panels. So let's go ahead and use it. We are going to go ahead and click on visualization and we are going to go ahead and use gauge panel. Now here uh, let's go ahead and use Prometheus data source for now and we are going to okay I think let's go ahead with scrape duration in seconds now this matrix is going to give us information about how long it is taking Prometheus to pull the data from all the node exporters as I told you in the first video that Prometheus works on pull mechanism so in order to monitor all the servers we are going to install node exporter on all the servers and then Prometheus is going to pull the data from all the servers by connecting to node exporter so this scrape duration is seconds is going to show us how many seconds it is taking for Prometheus Prometheus to pull the data from node exporters for each of the servers. So let's go ahead and select it and let's click on run queries. So right now you can see we have four items available. So let's go ahead click on options and also we are going to change it to custom label. I'm going to change it to instance. So here you can see IP addresses or host name of each of these servers. Now currently all of these panels are showing in green color that is because of the threshold. If you just go to the threshold you can see anything between 0 to less than 80 is going to be shown in green color but as you know you can see the maximum time it is taking is around 3.01 seconds so probably we are going to modify it little bit so let's say anything between less than one second we want to keep it green and then between one to two seconds we want to keep it amber and then anything above two seconds we want to keep it in red color so for that one let's go ahead and change it to one amber or let's select yellow and then we are going to choose two and we are going to change it to red so now you can see all of these are having value less than one second so that's why it is showing in green color and this one is having value more than two seconds so that's why it is showing in red color now of course rather than just showing the absolute value you can also show some category for example we can do value mapping so let's go ahead and click on add value mappings and here we are going to remove this value we are going to click on add a new mapping and let's select range now here anything between 0 to 1 we want to call it let's say good anything between 1 to 2 seconds we want to call it slow and anything between 2 to let's say 4 seconds we want to call that slow or extremely slow let's go ahead select range here we are going to select 2 to 4 seconds and let's let's call that extremely slow click on update now you can see we are seeing this as good and this is showing as extremely slow you can also play around with other items for example here you can see there is min and max value available as well for example let's say you want to have minimum value of 0 and maximum value is going to be around let's say 4 now in case you already know min and max value in that case you can provide it otherwise it is good to just leave it blank for example in this case we can just leave it blank and let's go ahead click on apply okay so this is how it is going to look like now let's go ahead and change it to scrape interval now just in case you have tabular data or you have csv data in that case you can also go ahead and use this visualization for example let's say we can take example of this grafana test data source and we are going to use csv content and let's say we want to show each country and their temperature so let's go ahead type country and temperature so i'm just going to add india right now temperature is around 42 degrees celsius and after that let's add some other countries maybe let's add our neighboring countries pakistan and i guess temperature is also around same there so let's add 45 degrees and i'm not sure what's the temperature in canada but let's add some dummy value of 10 degrees celsius now let's go ahead change it from time series to gauge and you can see right now we are seeing detail of only canada so in order to see all of these items we have to apply transformation so let's go ahead and click on transformation and we are going to search by partition so let's say we type part and here you can see we have partition by values so let's select it and here in the field you can decide on which field you want to partition so in this case we want to partition on countries so let's go ahead and select partition we are going to select country and now you can see we have data available for each country now again here in the threshold we are going to let's say for example anything less than 15 i'm just going to call it cold anything between 15 to 25 we can call it pleasant and we can add one more threshold and anything above let's say 25 we are going to call that hot 
for pleasant i'm just going to select yellow and for cold i'm just going to select blue so this is how it's gonna look like let's go ahead and see if we have temperature here and here you can see i have unit of temperature so let's go ahead and select celsius now you can see we are able to see the temperature here now here you can see we are seeing temperature india temperature pakistan temperature canada you may not want this temperature word to be coming again and again so in order to remove that we have to rename it and for renaming we can go ahead and add another transformation which is called rename so we are going to use this rename fields by regex so let's go ahead click on this and i'm just going to use bit of regex so i'm just going to use this temperature and then whatever is coming after temperature space we are basically grabbing that and we just want to show that grabbed item so here you can see we are using dollar one now this is about regex so that's the reason i'm not going into details but you know you got the good idea that this is how you can rename all the fields now let's go ahead click on apply and this is how it is going to look like